Welcome to all of our new listeners, and welcome back to all of our previous listeners. I'm not going to say our old listeners, because we're not going to do that. <laughs> so, welcome to all of our previous listeners. Uh, don't forget to follow us, send us a tweet at don't you know Pod or email us at don't you know Pod at gmail. So, what's up, Jacob? Not too much. Just, uh, just you know, living that East Coast lifestyle. So, you're living the lame lifestyle? Work hard, play hard. <laughs> Uh, call it what you will. So I have a couple of things before we start our uh, topic. So first thing I want to do is I want to clear up a little bit about Spotify. Uh, we should hopefully have a Spotify going by the time this episode airs. I know I've said that before, but I misread Podbean's kind of instruction with Spotify. I thought once we had five episodes, we get a Spotify account. But that was only for paid podcast accounts. We weren't originally going to do that. But if we found out that the free Podbean account only has a limited storage for the podcast. Since we don't want to get rid of any of our episodes because they're all so awesome. Uh, we will be doing the paid account. Which means we will have a Spotify account. What? what? We're going green. So, I... Also have another thing to talk about before we get into our topic, but do you have any kind of, uh, hmm, I don't even know what the right word is right now, I'm going blank, uh, kind of little nuggets you want to say before we start, Jacob? Nuggets, some words of wisdom. Yeah, no, or just kind of what's going on, anything new with you, you want to tell all of our adoring fans? No, nothing too much, been, been playing guitar and doing some VR stuff. I made my room, my VR room, into a VR VR room. Oh, that's cool. Not really. <laughs> it's kind of no. I'm just. That's how I spent my Friday night. I'm excited to try that VR room once I come see oh, you. For sure, we got all sorts of stuff to do. Yeah. Okay, so before we get into this week's topic, I want to mention something about last week's topic. I actually had someone on the bus today with smelly food. Smelly food. What was what was he or she eating? I don't. No, she wasn't eating anything. She had like it to go, but it looked like she kept kind of like opening the bag or something like that. So the smell was waffling out. And it just was, I don't even know what it was. It was just stinky. And I know, I think last week I said that it would suck if they have smelly food, but that's just kind of a don't you know, don't bring smelly food. So what, I don't know if I would be annoyed or not. I was annoyed. <laughs> I don't even know. It was kimchi, wasn't it? <laughs> I've only tried kimchi once. I wasn't really a fan. I'm pretty open. I try a lot of foods. Kimchi got me. People like it. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of it I was annoyed because of the food specifically or how much I was just because it was this one person. This person had already kind of annoyed me because we're all kind of getting ready to go onto the bus. And going onto the bus is not quite as organized as in the mornings because you line up. You have set like lineup spots. Whereas this one, everyone kind of just stands around, and when the bus pulls up, we kind of all huddle towards the door. Yeah, it's a mass. Society breaks down. Yeah. So this woman, like, kind of cuts in front of everyone, and that's not a big deal. Everyone does that. But then she turns around and asks all these questions, and then took forever to pay. By the time she finally finished paying, everyone could have already been on the bus and uh, paid and sat down. She took that long. Wow. So I was already kind of annoyed with her. I was like, are you freaking serious? Like, if you were going to have this much problems paying, you should have been in the back of the line. She's got to harass her the whole time. She shouted at her, hey, you're holding up the line. We got a brain surgeon in the back. Oh, I was kind of like next to her, kind of like tapping my car on the railing. Like, come on, hurry <laughs> up. <laughs> Did it have a good metallic ping to it? Yeah. Or was Maybe it more a little like a bit. Thunk? The thunk isn't as satisfying. You want that ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mixture of the two, I think. A dunk or a thing? I was like, but with a little bit more metallic to it. Oh, I see. But um, the second thing she did, like after that, which added to my annoyance with her, is that she sat down. She sat down in the aisle seat instead of the window seat. And put all her stuff down in the window seat. So basically, she took up two she seats. She's a double seater. It was for her stinky food. <laughs> it was for her stinky food. Her stinky food was in that seat. She was like, look, person, I'm saving you. You don't want to smell this. I'm eating, like, pickled liver or something. It. I was right behind her. I was the only other, like, open roll was right behind her. So it was like, oh, yeah. dang. 
Anyways, well, I didn't know she had stinky food either at the time. Oh, if I had yeah. known that, I would have picked a different scene. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's all I had to say about last week's episode. So I'm ready for this week's episode. Are you? Yeah, I'm all set. I have, I am um, prepared and ready to go. Okay. So, Merry Christmas, Jacob. Merry Christmas in April. Exactly. April Fool's. April Fool's. This is our April Fool's episode. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So, can you guess what the topic will be? It's going to be pranks that you shouldn't do. <laughs> pretty much. It's April Fool's in general. So, oh, yeah. All right. I'm a, I'm a pretty funny guy. I've got some, I've got a good prank story. <laughs> so, do you want to start off or do you want me to start off? Okay. Don't you know, the prank should be enjoyable by both parties. <laughs> Like, at the end of the day, that's the difference between a, a prank and just being a jerk, is if the, the, the subject can kind of laugh it off. Like, ha ha, you got me. How silly. I think I think that's acceptable. <laughs> that should be the standard. Yeah, definitely. But I think some people would disagree. <laughs> some people take things too far. And those are the ones you watch on YouTube. Because <laughs> you see them and oh, you're like... Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, oh, man, I hate that happened to me. <laughs> Yeah, I, will, I watch those pranks on YouTube and I'm kind of like, hmm, that's just too much effort to put into a prank. I'd rather just be like, oh, it's raining outside. And it's not raining outside. <laughs> <laughs> How devious. <laughs> what am I going to do with this umbrella all day? <laughs> oh, not that I'm saying I've done that before, but I would rather like something simple that just involves like a quick little line and be like, oh, paper balls. Would you pie somebody in the face? Oh, that's a lot of effort, because then you have to go buy the pie, and pie is not exactly that cheap. No, you get a shaving cream pie, <laughs> or a whipped cream pie. Yeah, that's, a, that's, you know, what whipped cream is not as a cheap as you would think. It's like three bucks. <laughs> three bucks that you're going to spend just to smash into someone's face, and then the crust itself is like three bucks? It's a prank, bro. No, you just put it on a plate. <laughs> you just, oh, okay. You just wear it up. It's a little paper plate. You put it on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> put it on a hand. Put it on their hand. It's cheaper. The whipped cream slap. Yeah, steal their whipped cream <laughs> and their plate. And then you gotta bake it. It is a lot of work. <laughs> See. And then April Fools, not only did you slap yourself with the uh, not only did you get slapped in the face with pie, but it's all your money. It's your pie. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think that like if we we did that at like a picnic once. There was like a big family gathering and um that one there was a pieing. There was like we had a hose nearby and everyone was outside and we were just goofing around. So that one was okay. So I think in context it's all right. But I didn't deliver it. I was like, nah, psh, I ain't doing that." <laughs> <laughs> um mine is kind of plays off of yours I guess a little bit in a way um is don't you know not to do anything too shocking to someone with a heart condition. Oh yeah. No, I mean, like, if you don't know they have a heart condition, I guess, you know, like, there's nothing you can do about it. But if you know this person has a heart condition... Yeah, don't go jumping at them with a werewolf mask or something. Yeah, let's go a little easy on them. <laughs> do stick to the typical kind of, like, the, the type of pranks I do, which is the lie one. <laughs> oh, your shoe's on tie. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm just kidding. I did hear a comedian talking about that, though. Trying to get the good seat at Thanksgiving. Being stuck at the kids' table. That's terrible, too. <laughs> okay. So, I have a couple of questions that we can discuss. Well, discussion topics. So, the very first one, which I think is a good one, is strangers. Are they fair game, or should we just leave them alone? Pranking a random stranger. So, that's a tough one. Because, on the one hand, that is a good, that is a good way to get some good reactions and things like that. Just, it's random sampling. That's great. But I think that a lot depends on, like, you and your level of charisma and, like, the, the setting as well, too. Because, you know, if you hit somebody, the thing about, like, pranking people in public is, like, what if they're, like, absolutely crazy and, like, have a gun or something? Oh. Like, that is such a legitimate, oh, God, maybe God. not so much for you out there in L.A., but for me in Georgia, you can't just go pieing people in the face in the streets. Have you, I've seen videos like that, though, where someone will do something and then the person gets up ready to fight. They're like, oh, no, no, it's a video. It's just a prank, bro. That's the iconic line, the meme. <laughs> <laughs> it made me think about when we did Unbearable Dares. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, because we were pranking, well, or those pranks, those were pranks, I guess. No, 
no, they weren't really pranks, but they do involve us, like, having us do these stupid things and then later on tell them, hey. Definitely harassing. <laughs> yeah, harassing it gets closer to. And we got Kristen to do it. I was kind of shocked when Kristen agreed to do it, because Kristen, we definitely got her out of her bubble to do that. Well, that's something that, I mean, that's something that, like, doing these sorts of things are good for. Because I know a lot of these things are, like, kind of a, it, you know, their social challenge or whatever. Hey, go prank somebody. Oh, okay. Improve yourself a little bit. And having the guts to go and actually do that does say something. So props to her for doing that. That was so much fun, though. I wish we yeah. had been able to do more episodes than just the two. Yeah, for sure. What's stopping you now? Uh, it's not something I particularly want to do now. It's something I would have had fun doing more of in college just because it's like more like here it would be different because you have such a broad, like a wide age range that some of it just doesn't really it's not the same as ha being around your peers and doing it kind of thing. Right, for sure. Plus, it's like I would want to do with you guys again, not anyone here. I don't really know anyone that would I would probably have fun doing that with. Oh, darn. So, hence why I'm doing this podcast with you, even though you're all the way across the country. Coast to coast. Definitely would have had to try to figure out a better way to do it than we did last time, though. Oh, yeah. Well, technology's come so far now, and we could easily make like a... A little hidden camera rig with a GoPro or something. Oh, that would have been, like, so much easier, too. Because we had to, like, have someone set up a camera, like, super far away. <laughs> we had to set up someone. Someone had to set up a camera, and then we kind of had to, were limited to that area. Who was it? It wasn't any of us that were recording. We had someone else recording, do we not? Don't remember. I don't think it was. I think the three of us were always on camera, but we actually had someone else kind of hide and record. Was it Caitlin? Maybe. No, because this was, was, this was junior year, no? No, this was senior year, so it might have been Caitlin. Possible. Yeah, that was fun. So that's a good segue into, I was going to bring up masterminding pranks. Since you were kind of the mastermind, you were the ringleader of that, of those shenanigans. I have a story about a friend of mine. So once upon a time, this uh, friend, we'll call him Daniel. Daniel worked at a um a uh, summer camp with a bunch of a bunch of kids and you know when when a bunch of kids get together sometimes pranks happen and so in these different cabins long story short if you sneak out of the fire escape in the back it's just a extra door that's like latched you can open that out go around and tie the doorknob of the adjacent cabin shut you tie it to your own doorknob because it opens in yeah, they do. So they can't pull in. And so the two doorknobs are stuck. You do that during the night, you go back into the fire escape. That's a fire hazard. It is. That's why you shouldn't do pranks. There's a fire escape. No, I meant that's a fire hazard for a door to swing in. They're supposed to swing out. Oh, I thought you meant tying the doors together. I was like, yeah, you take a risk. Would have been kind of a bummer. Yeah. That would definitely would have looked suspicious too. Why was the door tied? It was a prank. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> anyway, what you do when you tie your doorknob and everyone wakes up and goes, our doorknobs are tied. Somebody's pranked us. Oh, no. Who could it be? Well, it has to be somebody outside of the cabin. <laughs> this started a prank war <laughs> that had all Dang. the cabins. I basically hosted a false flag, uh, a, a false flag expedition. <laughs> Oh, I thought this was Daniel that did this. Daniel, I mean. <laughs> it ended up with a a cease and desist. Basically, the the counselor, the, the, the top saying, okay, we need to stop. Somebody's trunk with their laundry has been submerged and is at the bottom of the lake. We need to stop with the pranks. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh better not be mine. <laughs> and you just go, hmm. All right, time to calm down. Daniel felt like the Joker. <laughs> Not really the Joker. The Joker was pretty hands-on with his <clears throat> pranks. But anyway, you feel like someone is masterminding. That was pretty funny. That's always like, I think that's a pretty good way to do it. Is Don't you know, it's more fun to watch other people do pranks. <laughs> Just, hey, why don't you try this? Hey, go get that guy. That's the real don't you know. There was um our freshman, my freshman year, because you're where you're after me. But there was these two... um doors towards the front of the the girls dorms uh freshman dorms and they were having like a prank war oh so like you could go by their doors and sometimes you can see like one day we went by and they had uh pads all like taped up onto their oh, door nice. and then um i don't remember who it was i think i knew someone who lived 
near them or was one of the roommates or something like that. But they talked about how one year, I mean, one of the pranks was they filled the whole like room up with like balloons or something like that. Was that it? No, I think it, man, I can't remember now. It was so long ago. I think it was balloons. It was either that or I think, I think actually what I'm thinking about is from a video I saw where the person filled the room up with like full glasses, uh, not glasses, but full solo cups. Oh, I've seen that. All on the floor. Like a million of them or something. Yeah, and it's not like you just pick up them. You have to like, you have to actually like dump them somewhere. You know, you can't just pick them up. That is an emergency. No, you just trudge through and then just mop it. (laughs) Now it's carpet. Yeah, no, that's serious water damage. (laughs) No, that's a big prank. I'm confusing. Yes, I'm confusing it. I'm pretty sure what it was was they filled the room up with balloons. Oh, I see. Nice. I couldn't remember really. So, yeah, so they're, they're doing stuff like that. That's pretty funny. Yeah, speaking of, uh, I had I had some notepads put all over my car one time. Somebody put a bunch of post-it notes. They did that. I was like, it wasn't somebody. It was some buddies. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fun. That could contribute to that. You may have. I don't really it was pretty remember. pretty impressive. I, re- I think I remember your car at least. Was that, was that at least your junior or senior year? No, at least your sophomore or junior year believe so must have been yeah i might have con- i might have contributed to that then <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure it was my sophomore year <laughs> yeah because i didn't know you I, I didn't know you until the end of your freshman year right and we didn't really get close until over summer yeah so if it was sophomore year then there was a possibility i probably contribute to that <laughs> or at least i remember seeing your car there were some people that they remember that one like phase that went through the campus where everyone was like taking people's windshield wipers and sticking them up. Yeah, I know that guy. Oh, you know the guy that did that? I might live with him. Was it you? (laughs) No, it wasn't me. (laughs) Oh, you know what? It totally was. I remember, not you, but I totally remember it was someone that you live with. Because I actually remember us walking somewhere and he did that. But he only did it to people he knew, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A.K.A. me a lot. (laughs) Well, then maybe he started a trend because I saw that happen to like a lot of cars, though. You just do it because you're not going to notice it until you get right back in. It's like, dang it. Like, that's probably been up there for a week. <laughs> it's going, oh, look at that idiot with his wipers. <laughs> <laughs> well, if everyone else was noticing it, then you should have noticed it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know a prank. I got one on him. I, I went on because we were we had adjoining rooms. One time I went in to look for him or his roommate and noticed his computer was open to Facebook. Now lowbrow like uh caveman snow uh caveman spongebob level of prank is Mm -hmm. type of status i'm gay there's like level elevated is like posting is like (laughs) his like um relationship status as not relationship his orientation is like what it's not or whatever and then the okay top tier play is he changes birthday for like four months you wait you forget Um. about it one day he goes why is everyone telling me it's my birthday bust out laughing (laughs) that's when you remember i literally forgot about it and the funny thing is is because then he has to change it back and so he has to explain to everybody (laughs) he's on facebook no it's not my birthday that was a prank my real birthday is in january and then (laughs) and then in january everyone goes wasn't it your birthday and the prank keeps going (laughs) and and now he's got two birthdays so that was that was pretty fun (laughs) Oh, that is fun. That was a good one. Yeah, that actually reminds me of my freshman year. Me and um, Lindsay, Sasha, Ashley, all of them, that that group. Mm-hmm. I, well, I better say all of them now in case they listen to this and they're like, oh, you left me out. Let's hear Adriana, Kristen, Ashley, Lindsay, Candace, and Sasha. We all had like this thing and we would go into that lounge um, on the third floor in the girls' uh, freshman dorm. I don't know if, you, if you've been to the... If you've been inside the freshman door, the girls' freshman door. Yes. I know what you're talking about. So, in Boone, do you remember which one Boone was? The northernmost. I don't know about direction-wise. Anyways. The one closest to the stoplight. Yes, but also closer to the train tracks. Yeah. So, um, on the third floor of that, there was a lounge with the TV and all that stuff. So, we'd hang out in there, watch TV, and um, do homework and stuff. We basically took over that lounge. And we had actually this whole thing with Facebook where we were all changing. Every, we were 
putting in status for like all, if you left up your Facebook, if you went to go use the restroom, it was changed. <laughs> we went this huge thing, and <laughs> it got to the point. It got to the point where everyone was like, "I'm locking out Facebook." Oh yeah. <laughs> and so Candace, Candace locked out of Facebook. And me, I went in there. And I was like, "I'm gonna guess it," and I pushed something, and it popped up as using the save the saved password for this email. Nice. <laughs> so I logged in. I logged in, and I changed her status to um, "I like sunbathing naked on the rooftop." <laughs> well, what happens if your employees <laughs> see that? Employers. Oh, this was years ago. Yeah, I'm just using. They don't look back that far. They don't care. <laughs> they couldn't care less. Yeah. They'll be going through her Facebook like, huh, me too. She's hired. <laughs> <laughs> this went on for like a couple, like a few months, I think. So, I mean, you would see lots of crazy status. I think mine was like, I can't remember. I think mine was something about snowball fights or something. And um, so and then I logged out. She came back in, looked at nothing had happened. She went about, and then not too much longer, I guess someone liked it or something. <laughs> she was like, why can't you guys do that? That's funny. What? How did you do this? Somebody creepy, too. I was too. like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> we were all like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. You logged out. How could we have done don't it? Don't you know? That's not hacking. <laughs> exactly. It wasn't. I'm just joking. But she believed we hacked it. I don't think we ever told her how, how I did it. So I think she believed we hacked her computer. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. So. Shout out to Candace if you're listening. Shout out to password Probably savers. Not. You leave your laptop around. You know, on a more serious note, if you go up to the bathroom in a library or something, it's all it takes. Someone go to your bank account, do the same thing, wire some funds real fast. Be very careful with your security. You press the Windows key and then L. Yeah. Other keyboards are available. That are just lock your system. Yeah. Dang. I... Really did not think about it. Yeah, it's not quite the safest. I use it for everything, though. Uh oh. You shouldn't tell people that, especially on a podcast. <laughs> You're going <laughs> to hack our podcast. That's not hacking. That's not hacking. Well, the thing about mine is um, with my phone, I can't even, it doesn't even use a password for my phone. It uses my face ID. Oh, uh, I gotcha. They hack that, too. It's not hacking. <laughs> <laughs> Get a picture. <laughs> Nothing's hacking to you. <laughs> no, hacking is like writing code and altering code. Not even altering. Like I don't know. I'm not a hacker. Well, they would have to. They would have to do all that to get a hold of all my stuff, unless they were in the same room as me. Yes. If they got through your security, that would be hacking. I'd count that. But if they just like saw it over your shoulder, that's social engineering, I guess. Oh my god! I had uh, the lady that used to work for us. She um retired, and oh my gosh. I'm so glad she's gone. She annoyed me so much. <laughs> I think I remember her. Yeah, you remember. I, I, I think one of the times we um, I, we had a phone conversation about it on the bus, and the people were like, yeah, we don't want to hear you guys' conversation. Do you remember that? Apparently, you're not. don't you know you're not supposed to talk on the phone on the bus? Oops, sorry. But if you've got somebody standing next to you, that's okay. Can you talk to them? Yeah, as long as you're not super loud. Cause then I could, like, I've known some people, and they're, like, really, like, yelling at each other, basically. And you're like, oh, my God. Like, calm down. The person's right next to you. we have having sports team arguments. <laughs> you just mutter. Are you the crazy person? But we had to do, like, this um kind of um, security kind of social media training exercise thing. And it talked about social engineering. Yeah. And she, like, took that test, like, six times and kept failing and failing and failing it was like well i see some of the stuff she was doing and i'm like well no wonder you were failing you're doing all this stuff that you shouldn't be doing anyways <laughs> that's funny some people just dense so back to our topic so i have another discussion and it's getting kind of close so let's probably do like a discussion don't you know let's kind of get close to wrapping so what about pranks that involve dying, whether it's you that you pretend to die or you're pretending someone else dies. I think that if somebody dies, I wouldn't call it a prank, but uh, I assume you're thinking pretend pranks. Yeah, pretend. <sighs> so, this one rides the line of, like, it, it, it. they can be done tastefully and they can be done distastefully. The people who throw the, the prank bodies off the... Like bridges, that's out of the question. Not only is that illegal, but that is mm -hmm. unethical. <laughs> that's just terrible. And it's like <laughs> a road hazard. There's so many levels of wrong with that. Clearly, that's not a prank. 
But, like, I don't know, like, pretending to choke on something, maybe. I don't know. I think it's all context and setting. I, I think that I think that I'm going to say, if I had to say yes or no, I would say no, they're not off the question. But, for goodness sake, be tasteful with them. I feel like there's just too many things that, like, I just feel like that's just something that probably just shouldn't be done. Because, I mean, you have people who pretend like they're choking or whatever. It's just because some people do have the reaction to do things if someone is dying or something like that. You might get the cops call, like, oh my god, this person's dying. Or, oh, where's a doctor? Like, that's just, that's too much. Now it's not just between the two of you. Yeah. Are you talking about, like, the one where, like, the clown smashes the guy's head in the parking alley? Like, do you know what I'm talking about? No, I'm not. But, like, see, that would be too much. Oh, man. There's this one where they, like, there's, there's like, one thing and he, like, hits it with a mallet and it's, like, a watermelon or something. Mm -hmm. And it's just red everywhere. And the guys just, like, freak out and start running mm -hmm. and he comes at them. They're pretty entertaining. I'll say that. <laughs> They're maybe entertaining. That's too much, though. Yeah. I, yeah, it really is. Because that's, I mean... <sighs> It's kind of tough, because if you see a clown, I don't know, if you see a clown, you really trust him, and if you're not expecting it to be a prank, and, like, err on the side of safety, like, those are those are tough situations. Yeah. Allison's afraid of clowns. Definitely gutsy. But again, what if those people have a gun? What if the person has, like, a concealed carry and <laughs> shoots the clown? Like, that's... This sounds like a legit fear of yours for pranking strangers, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, nobody wants to, like, accidentally do that and go, oh my gosh, it was just a prank. Uh, I only have one, don't you know, left. I don't know if you have anything that you want to do. Um, don't you know, uh, don't give people tattoos, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why that's coming out. That's all I got. Don't give someone a tattoo as a prank. That crosses the line. <laughs> Nothing permanent. Yeah, don't do anything permanent, don't you know. All right. Yeah, I totally agree with that. You know, I want to meet, like, people who, well, maybe not. I was going to say, I want to meet people who are, like, comfortable enough with each other that they would tattoo each other as pranks. Like, that's got to be some, like, they're, they've got to be, like, punk rockers or something. I don't even know anyone that's close enough to do something like that. Like, me and you are pretty close, and I still wouldn't let you tattoo something on me as a prank. Well, I think we're very different people than, like, punk rockers. <laughs> so, I mean, like, if I was bawling in money, I can, no, because, no, never mind, no, because... Tattoo removal, I heard, is very painful. I don't care why I'm balling of money could do it. No. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. For my don't you know. Let's that's hear it. That's like the most important one for April Fool's. What you got? Don't you know. Grow a funny bone. <laughs> <laughs> that's It's funny. April Fool's. It, like, if you forget, you get that first plank. Be expecting it. Like, just accept it. It's going to happen. Except that you're probably going to be embarrassed. Probably all day. Yeah, and I mean, I understand if you get upset when someone does take it too far, but you got to be relaxed and just kind of accept the ones that are little. Like, you just got to do build, like, tough bones, man. Like, thick skin. Now, it's kind of a gamble. You could just, like, blow up out of proportion. Like, that's it. We're not friends anymore. I can't take this joke. <laughs> and then just... April Fools. I'm just teasing. That was a good prank. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen um like the ones where people are like screaming. Like I've seen it. I think it's with the parents usually. And the kid like screams at them and keeps recording every single one. So there's like a like it does um what is it called a um not a collage a mirage collaboration compilation. Um, compilation. That's the that's what I was looking for. Compilation of it, and like the parent just like progressively gets more and more and more aggravated. Oh yeah, oh that's funny. I've seen one where a guy does that to his girlfriend or maybe wife in a uh, in an IKEA. That was pretty good. Yeah. So don't you know, especially on April Fools, grow a funny bone. Take joke or pick better friends. Or pick better friends. <laughs> pick those serious ones that are like you and that don't want to do pranks on April Fools. <laughs> their prank is like telling you the wrong page in your book club. Ha ha ha. All right, Ethel. That would be something I would do. <laughs> I'm going to slash your tires in the parking lot, Ethel. <laughs> oh, dang. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's terrible. That was just a random <laughs> name. I do know somebody named Ethel, and she is so sweet. I would never wish anything ill on her. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, if No, he's going to slash your tires. <laughs> Don't prank him. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Well, that's all I have today. Yeah, for the same. Thanks for listening to us, guys. Don't forget yeah. to follow us on Twitter and check out our Spotify because hopefully that should be going up. Yeah, keep an eye open. Yeah, send us an email. 
Yeah, topics or uh, rules or things from previous episodes, too. We'll just read them out, and we can always go back. We can always revisit the past, albeit briefly. Like she, you were just talking earlier about how you don't want to relive the past. <laughs> 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 By the way, guys, Jacob used to have a green mohawk. Oh, speak <laughs> not of the past. Speak <laughs> not of the past. <laughs> That's fun. I, I rocked it, too. It was a death hawk, technically. It was a different color every month. It was purple. It was green. <laughs> it was blue. It was yellow, I think, at one point, too. I think he just the only one he didn't do was red. <laughs> Orange. I'm not much of a red kind of guy. I'm not big into red. I don't know what it is. I, just, I didn't want red. I think purple was my favorite. Just that shade was pretty good. I, I kind of like the green one, but at the same time, it was like a puke green, too, so... It's not a puke green. At one point, it was. It was the same as your logo. It was... No. At one point, it was a puke. Oh, your logo's like a lime. It was not a puke At green. one point, it was a puke I don't puke know green. what your... If you ever puke that shade of green, <laughs> you are dying or you've eaten, like, green food It was coloring. like an ectoplasma green. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, guys, send us some tweets, send us an email, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Podbean, follow us on Spotify, follow us. Don't follow us in real life. Or you can follow Jacob. I think Jacob would like it. Don't follow me. Yeah, Jacob seems like the kind that <laughs> wouldn't mind groupies. Every step you take, every <laughs> breath you make, I'll be watching. Don't follow me. I think I sang that back. <laughs> Don't follow me. You can follow Jacob. Jacob doesn't have guns at his house. <laughs> I have guns at my house. Well, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.